Welcome to the Rusted Garden. I'm going to give you a three minute gardening tip on how to prepare your seed starting mix for growing seeds indoors. That will include pre-moistening the soil and how to water your cells from the bottom. First thing is, is if you buy a kit, it comes with a dome. The dome seems like a good idea that you put it on, it keeps moisture in. Don't use it. All it does is create a humid environment that can cause disease on your plants. The best thing to do with these tops is to put them on the bottom of your flat and it protects the black tray from wearing down and getting holes in it. This is where you're going to water your plant. When you get seed starting mix, uh, like this Jiffy tomato vegetable plant mix, it comes in dry quartz a lot of times. Or if it's not dry, it's only slightly moistened. You want to pre-moisten this starting mix before you pack it into your cells. And you just do that, add in some warm water, and basically you just move the soil around, roll it around, and it'll come up. Well, it won't come up, but it'll absorb the water and it'll be moist. That's what you want to start with. If you just pack your cell with dry material, set it in a tray, and when you put water in the bottom, this will have a hard time absorbing water. And it could take 24 to 48 hours. I learned that from experience. So you want to pre-moisten the soil. I recommend using a five gallon bucket. It costs a couple of dollars to buy. Just put in your starting mix and moisten it in there. And it's a lot easier if you cut your cells down to six or nine, you can put them right over the bucket and not make a mess. What you do is you fill up the cell and then thumb pack it. You want a very good growing base for any of the seeds that you're starting inside. And you do this for all seeds, herbs, perennials, vegetables. Once you pack it down, you refill it. So you have one that is packed with pre-moistened starting mix and one that is dry. And you do this for all the cells, you do this for any vegetables, herbs, perennials that you're starting indoors. Now to water it, and I learned this from experience after my first year doing this, is do not water from the top. If you watch the stream, that's just gonna splash the soil and seeds out. Always water from the bottom. Fill the flat up about a third of the way Make sure it's on a flat surface. And because there's holes in the bottom, this is pre-moistened. It will just wick the water right up. It will help your seeds germinate and get started. The dry, and if you can see, if you put it in there, the dry just floats on top. So it's gonna take a lot longer for this to absorb water. After about 20 or 30 minutes, whatever is not absorbed into your cells, just take the water. And I usually just dump it right back into the bucket that I have my moistened seed starting mix. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. And you can also join my Google Plus community. It has nearly a thousand gardeners uh, in it now. It's called Our Tomato and Vegetable Gardens. And you can find that link at my YouTube page or at my blog. Thank you.